Cluck TV presents A Closer Look with Al Travis, sharing how they select the stories featured on Destination Small Town. You know, as much as what we do for a living describes who we are, I think even more so what we do for fun. And uh, music for a lot of us is a big deal. And music festivals for towns can be huge. And what's fun is, uh, at least in Sweet Swine County, you don't have to go very far to find a music festival that is just really all about small town living. It's called Rhythm on the River. And it's really one of those things you got to stop and see. In 2006, this two-day festival at Ashley Park in Jackson attracted thousands as part of Jackson's sesquicentennial celebration. After a year hiatus, 2008 brought the rhythm back. The community called for it, so bands from up and down the river gathered together. They celebrated their cultural heritage and welcomed everyone to celebrate the beauty of the city of Jackson and their little bend in the Des Moines River. As with anything being nurtured, each year Rhythm of the River grows bigger, better, and stronger. Rhythm of the River, an annual festival that brings people together in celebration of music, the arts, and the community. As we like to do, we like to find an expert that can tell us all about what's going on. And we have Kathy Franzen from Rhythm of the River to tell us what's going on. Kathy, uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, being with us today. Hi, Al. Thank you for your interest in Rhythm of the River. So tell us, what is Rhythm of the River? Well, Rhythm of the River is an eclectic music festival that's held in Jackson, Minnesota. It takes place over two days in July, then it features a wide variety of music. Uh, we have art and food vendors and a lot of educational workshops as well. On a scale of festivals, we're pretty small, but we really love the venue that we have. We're by the park, by the river, and on a July weekend, it's just a perfect place to be. So can you tell us about the artists who perform there? The artists who are showcased at Rhythm of the River are primarily songwriters from different genres of music. We've brought quite a variety of music to Jackson, from polka to jazz to reggae and zydeco. Uh, we do try to promote a variety of musicians who've never performed in Southwest Minnesota before and haven't had the opportunity to see what a great part of the state we have here. Any chance maybe you can show us outside a little bit about the venue? So here we are at Ashley Park, Al. Right now it's pretty empty. But once Rhythm of the River preparations begin, the park fills up pretty fast and that's where everyone is going to be sitting right there enjoying the music. Um, I'm standing now about where the stage is and you can just picture this area filled with art vendors and food vendors and picnic tables and people just having a great time at Ashley Park in Jackson, Minnesota. So it will be a fun day when we can celebrate with music and art and all of the wonderful things that represent Rhythm of the River. <laughs> Kathy, it was so nice talking with you. Have yourself a really nice day. Well, we greatly appreciate all of the local and regional support that we've received through the years. Our website has detailed information about sponsorships and all the volunteer opportunities. We have many levels of sponsorships and we appreciate every single one of them. Our festival really depends on active volunteers to make things run smoothly. Anyone who wishes to volunteer at the festival or on a committee could contact us through the Facebook or their website. Thank you, Al. I've enjoyed talking with you, and I really hope that you'll be able to make Rhythm of the River part of your summer plans. Oh, you can really see that Kathy is in love with Rhythm of the River, and why wouldn't you be? If you're into a community gathering, a get-together, and you like good music and fun, I think that's a place to try out Rhythm of the River.
This activity is made possible by the voters of Minnesota through a grant from the Southwest Minnesota Arts Council, thanks to a legislative appropriation from the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund.